Today, I'm gonna to show you how to cut a puzzle on a laser cutter using a photograph I took while in Alaska. Also, we're gonna make a handy little storage box to store it in. Today's video is sponsored by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. And Rockler Woodworking and Hardware, create with confidence. So a few years ago, Kelly and I went to Alaska and one of our walks, I, I saw the perfect composition of the road intersecting with the mountains here. And so I took a bracketed shot, which is three shots of overexposed, a correctly exposed, and an underexposed shot. And so what I did was I combined those for what is called HDR or high dynamic range photographs. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the different elements of the underexposed and the overexposed shots and combining them into this like super hyper realistic photograph. And here's what I came up with. And we're going to send this photo off to Costco for printing. Then we're gonna take that photo back, we're going to glue it onto some cardboard, take it over to the laser engraver and cut out a puzzle and we will have a puzzle of this photograph that I took. All right, so I just uploaded my photos to Costco. We're gonna head on over there in a little bit and pick them up. We're also gonna stop by Michael's Craft Center and pick up some cardboard where we can glue the photo down before laser cutting on the laser engraver. So let's go do that. We got our print from Costco. We got the cardstock from Michaels. Just gonna spray some spray adhesive on the back of the print here. And we'll trim it up later. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of overhang here on the edges. Put a board on there. We should be good. Instant bond. So now that we got that glued on there, we're just going to Cut this out without cutting our fingers off, hopefully. So what we're doing here is we're just covering the surface of the photo with some masking tape and that will prevent burning on the surface. I did a couple tests with and without the tape and it definitely looked better with the tape on there. All right, so I have my Illustrator file here. It is a vector file of the puzzle, and this is one line right here, and then this is one line, and then this is one line, and then it repeats going this way. So I have the file opened up in Inkscape. Inkscape is a great alternative if you don't have Illustrator. And from there, we'll go to File, Print, and then we print to the full spectrum driver. All right, so now we have our artwork. We got some tape on there to protect the surface from burning. We're gonna throw it in the machine. Then we're gonna run our job perimeter and that'll let us know if our cutting will remain on the surface of the artwork. And it is, so now we're ready to start cutting. Okay, so I did run a series of tests earlier to determine my, my best power and speed. I found that a speed of 25 and a power of 36 gave me the best results. A nice clean cut and very little burning on the back. So over here in the computer, we'll punch in those numbers. Speed of 25, power of 36. We should be good to go. Nice clean cut. So now we have to go through and remove all the masking tape. All right, so tearing off the 
tape on the last piece right here. This is a tedious, fun job. There it is, look at that. Very happy with it. Nice thick pieces. Now that the puzzle is done, move that to the side. I still have an extra 11 by 14 photo and this piece of thin cardboard and I'm going to use this to make a box to hold the puzzle. And this will be the cover of the box. So we'll do some cutting and folding and we'll see what we come up with. Fold this up here. Put my ruler on the line. Get the fold started. And then use the wood block. So I'm just gonna use some super glue here and glue these corners up. So Eric had the brilliant idea. Take some pieces of wood. Throw it on there, clamp that up. All right, there's our lid. Now we just need to make a base. Looking good. So for the base, I'm gonna make out of this eighth inch plywood that I have laying around. Just gonna take this over to the table saw, cut it up. We're just going to use some super glue and some activator and uh, glue this box up and hopefully it'll hold. All right, it's got some CA glue on that piece. Squirt some activator on the other piece. Get that all glued up, let's test the fit. Mm, a little tight, so we'll just sand that down. I am very pleased with the way this came out. Very happy with the cardboard that we use for the back of the puzzle. Uh, it feels like a puzzle piece. It has the same thickness and all. I glued the photograph on with the light version of the spray adhesive. I would actually go with the heavier version because as we were pulling off some of the masking tape, uh, some parts of the photograph would want to come off the cardboard. But other than that, it came out great. I really love the, the cardboard box that we made for it. And it repeats the photograph on the box. It's got a nice, nice snug fit. I will be giving this puzzle away to one of my Patreon supporters. If you're not familiar with Patreon, Patreon is a way to support me and what I'm doing. Patreon members get an extended vlog every week. Plus you get involved in the weekly giveaways, which we'll be giving this away in a couple weeks. So if you want to support me, head on over to Patreon and check that out. So if you like what I'm doing and you think I've earned it, please share this video on Facebook and Twitter. It helps me out a lot. We got new videos coming out every Thursday. There's a fly flying around and I come in, in and out in front of the camera. Camera. There's two of them. I'd like to thank Rockler for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to find out more about the laser cutter that I use for this project, there'll be a link down in the description. As always, be safe, be passionate, and make something. Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today I'm going to show you how to make this kick-ass pizza peel. We are here at Kencraft Hardwoods, and I am looking through some half-inch boards to make a pizza peel. And what I think I found is I'm going to do a centerpiece of mahogany and then have hickory on both sides. So let's head back to the shop and make this pizza peel. 